Let's talk about Angular RxJS interoperability with signals. Take this example here of a quiz that I posted last week on Twitter. It got a lot of engagement. Have a look. What value do you think it's going to be emitted here by the numbers observable? We're going to solve the quiz in this video and this is going to give you all the insights that you need in order to really understand how two observable works so that you are never surprised by its behavior. Welcome back to the Angular University channel, I'm Vasco. This video explaining two observable is taken from my Modern Angular with Signals course, which has just been launched. This is about seven hours of content teaching you everything that you need to know to build modern Angular applications using signals and also with minimal RxJS. So if you are curious what an Angular application looks like built like that, head over to the Angular University and check out my courses. You're going to find the Modern Angular with Signals course here at the top. And so without further ado, let's continue with the sample lesson of this course, talking about two observable and solving that quiz that you saw at the beginning of the video. In this lesson, I'm going to give you another example of two observable so that you understand exactly how it works in detail. So let's start by creating here a signal and I'm going to give it the zero value. So this is going to be a signal that emits a number. Now let's go ahead and let's quickly create here an observable that we're going to be calling numbers and we're going to be using here two observable. Let's pass it the input signal and just like we did before, let's go ahead and let's pass here the injector. Otherwise, this won't work. Now, what I want to explain here is how two observable works internally and what are the consequences of that, because that might be important for you in certain particular situations. So two observable converts a signal into an observable. So for that, it needs to track the changes of the value of the signal over time. Correct. So for doing that, to observable internally uses an effect, a signal effect, the type of effects that we have covered in this course. And that is important to understand the behavior of two observable. So let me give you here a concrete example. We are going to go ahead and we are going to subscribe simply to this uh, observable. All right. So I'm just going to log out here to the console, the numbers emitted. All right. So what would happen here is that this observable would emit the value zero. It's as simple as that, right? Let's go ahead and let's try this out here in a larger window. I'm going to reload this and let's quickly click here on two observable. We can see that the only value emitted was zero. But now the question is what would happen if we would emit here multiple values of the signal. So let me emit here values for the signal in multiple places. Let's set this to one. So numbers.set and let's set the value one and let's go ahead and let's set here, for example, the values two and three. And this is before creating two observable. Now we are going to add here the uh, set call, we are going to set this to four, correct. And now let's wait for the subscription. And even after the subscription, let's go ahead and let's set the signal to five. All right. So now the question is, what is going to be printed out to the console? Try to guess. So to understand what is going on here, we need to remind ourselves that two observable is internally using an effect. And if you remember what we discussed about effects, effects in Angular are not triggered immediately in a synchronous way every time that the value of the signal gets set. So if you are here inside a click handler and you are setting multiple values here for the same signal, the effects and the computed values that are linked to that signal 
will not be triggered each time that you change the value of the signal. Instead, Angular is going to wait for the signal to stabilize at the end of the change detection run, and then only the last value set to the signal during that turn is going to be notified via effects and computed signals. So in this particular case, all of this is synchronous. There are no asynchronous operations here. So we are creating here an initial value. Then we are setting it here three times. Then we create here two observable based on this signal here. That effect that is being used internally will not be triggered at this point. Then we call another time here the signal set. Still, the effect used internally by two observable is not going to get triggered. Then finally, we subscribe to the observable and we call set again. Again, the effect used internally by two observable is not going to get triggered only when this block here exits and the change detection turn completes. Then and only then will Angular trigger the effect and the effect is going to trigger the emission of a new value by the observable. So the only value that is going to be emitted is 5 due to the way how signals work and how effects work. Let's then confirm that everything is working correctly. I'm going to click here on 2 observable and as you can see only the number 5 was emitted as expected. So I hope that this explanation kind of help to understand how two observable works and how effects work. Remember, Angular is going to wait for the value of a signal to stabilize at the end of the change detection cycle before triggering any dependent effects or computed. And that's it. Now you know how two observable works. If you want more content like this, check out the Modern Angular with Signals course in my website link is in the description. It has just now been launched. It's about seven hours of content. Thank you so much everyone for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers everyone!